Hello everyone, my name is Sik and uh, welcome to my first ever unboxing videos. <laughs> um, I've never done one of these before, but well, I dabbled a little bit with Warhammer 40,000 in the past and I've got a few. Um, I got one game set called Betrayal at, Gal at Kalf, which I like to play, which is really fun. I got uh, like a Space Wolf team, I've got like a, a Dreadnought and like I'm a slow painter so I don't really, I can't really gather up big armies and play the tabletop game, but this time around there's a game that came out called Kill Team and it is set around small scale skirmishes. So uh, <laughs> I couldn't resist, I bought it and we're going to do an unboxing video of it today. Now, <laughs> I can't really go to a Warhammer store without buying more stuff than I really wanted to. So that is what happened this time around. I bought some paints, I bought some brushes to help out with the terrain that is included in the kill team. Um, and I bought a painting handle, which uh, this is the last model that I painted, which uh, is a space wolf. And well, usually I would only basically I would you know I would grab them at the base and to paint them but I saw this that they were back in store and this looked really useful really cool so I bought one and yeah <laughs> as always like I said it's really hard for me to go to a Warhammer store and not buy a crazy amount of stuff that I don't really um, can afford at the moment but you know it's cool and it's useful so I end up doing that anyway um, Sitting at my little painting table, by the way. So you can have a little look on that. We, uh, we've got some of the stuff that I've made. Uh, a Dreadnought that is work in progress. It belongs to the Betrayal at Calf box set. Another Dreadnought that I got for my birthday. Which uh, I painted up in ultramarine colors. He is called Mox. Which I uh, painted onto the faceplate as well. But yeah, it's a cool hobby, like I, I enjoy doing it, uh, it's relaxing, but I don't do it all that much, like I don't do it all the time, like some people would. Anyway, um, you're not really here for that, you want to see the unboxing of Kill Team, so let's begin with that. Alright, so let's have a look at the box, we got a really big one, it's really sturdy stuff. It's also really heavy. Um, <laughs> All right, so let's have a have a look at the box. There's a cool artwork at the top with Spitaris and Gene Steelers on the front, du duking it out. This is the starter set, which has everything you need to get playing. Um, back of the box, some more artwork, and it shows you a little bit about everything that's going on. So it shows you. Uh, the Adeptus Mechanicus models, we have the Gene Sealer models, like a uh, little showcase of everything that they have. As well as an overview of the game board that's inside with all the terrain that's included. And the terrain is really, really cool. It looks beautiful. Of course, none of this stuff is painted yet, so that is something that we're going to have to do. But all the plastic sprues should be uh, colored, so you could start playing right away, even if you don't paint anything. So, yeah. Let's have a look at what it says at the box. In the grim darkness of the 30, 41st millennium, hand-picked squads of elite warriors stalk each other through tangled warscapes. Kill Team is a game of squad-based combat in which every warrior counts, and each gunshot, blade swing, and frantically hurled grenade can mean the difference between glorious victory and crushing defeat. Whether superhuman warriors are lurking Sinos fiends, Ragged survivors or heavily armed troopers, every kill team must fight far behind enemy lines to complete missions so vital that the fate of worlds hangs upon their resolution. Kill Teams allows two or more players to pit squads of finely detailed citadel miniatures against one another in fast-paced battles to the death. Whether you play single missions or a full-scale campaign, this is an exciting game that brings all the blood and thunder of the 41st millennium to life on the tabletop. Right, so it's a um, two to four player uh, team, it says, um, or a uh, team, <laughs> game. <laughs> so a two to four player game, even though it says two or more players, it is two to four, I think. So this box contains a 208 page 
Kill Team Core Manual, an 8 page devoted Sans booklet, which is the Gene Stealer group. There is an 8 page Gamma Soul 881 booklet, which is the Adaptus Mechanicus Kill Team. There is a 22 by 30 inch folding game board, 36 Universal Tactics cards, 10 Adaptus Mechanicus Tactics cards, 12 Gene Stealer Cults Tactics cards. Uh, there's a dice pack, there's a range ruler, counters, uh, imperial ruin scenery, and it includes the 20 citadel min miniatures that I mentioned earlier. So, let's have a look, actually. As you can see, it's still in the plastic, so I need to open that stuff up. I got my knife. Should do nicely, get the knife away, don't want to cut up everything. <laughs> Alright, don't want to cut it up too much and damage the box or anything. Especially with my trembling hands, like it's still not entirely done trembling. But uh, yeah, let's get rid of the uh, plastic. Let's open this puppy up. There we go. <laughs> All right, so putting this to the side, we have a front work art cover saying Kill Team on the one side, and I think on the other side, yeah, we have the box art again. But this is a cool poster we could hang up on the wall somewhere. I'm not a big fan of having aliens on my wall, I think they should all be purged from the galaxy. You know, glory to the Emperor and all that, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And then we have uh, all the miniatures. We have some bases that uh, all the miniatures will be put down on. We've got some uh, plastic bags so you can have uh, like all the cards and stuff like that put into a plastic bag. Very useful. And now we get to the colored miniature um, spruce. So this is the one for the Adaptus Mechanicus. It's all in red. Um, all in pieces of course so you have to assemble these, cut them out and then uh, glue them together and then paint them up. I'm a pretty slow painter, so that won't be shown in this video. This is purely the unboxing. But basically, we got three sprues, and they are all in total they're worth um, ten miniatures, and that should be like a full point um, kill team. All right, so let's put that off to the side. Now we've got one sprue or two sprues, I guess. You know, it's connected together, so technically it's one, but basically it's two, because it's the two different frames <laughs> for the Gene Stealers. So, yeah, this will be interesting as well. So far I've only really painted uh, Space Marines. I've got Space Wolves and some basic Horus Heresy Space Marines for um, the Betrayal of Calf box. And I got a, a, a Dreadnought as well for 40k. Alright, and now this is something a lot of people buy this box for, <laughs> even if they don't play the game, they want to have the terrain. So we've got several sprues of terrain. Let me have a look at this. There's a lot of detail on this. It's really fine, finely detailed. You can see all the little cracks in the terrain. and uh, I think this will be a lot of fun to paint up. It's going to take a bit of paint to uh, really cover everything. But I think, yeah, you know, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos of people uh, with their finished terrain and like they basically base coat it and they uh, dry brush it a little bit and then they maybe uh, make some things uh, look iron. But I want to do a lot more. I want to have more variation in colors and like um, I think we have some cables there. We could uh, paint the cables in different colors. There are some um, keyboards and everything like that that we could paint up. Loads of skulls, <laughs> hatches and everything, so that is really cool. And this is quite heavy, this is really thick, sturdy stuff. So this is probably where all the weight from the box comes from. We have multiple sprues of this. More um, floors, I think that's almost the exact same sprue as the other one that I just picked up, I think so. I have a lot of columns, and again you can see like all the mechanical stuff and uh, what is this? A fan, I guess, yeah. It's a fan, and we've got some pillars and everything. Lots of details on both sides. Multiple sprues. Like I said, we're not done yet. Even more. We get more sprues. 
Another two, and I really like these big windows. They're really cool. This will be really fun to paint, I think. I've got the Aquila, the Eagle. Yeah, this is really cool. My god, look at that. Even more stuff. More pillars, more Aquilas, more skulls. Oh my god, look at this one. Look at the detail on this. Like, you've got the Eagles, really long. What does this say? Imperator Invictus with the skulls on top. Jesus, that is so cool. And of course, you know, all of this terrain and the models, you can all use them in 40k as well. So, let's see. Then we have another bit of cardboard saying Kill Team once again. Oh, basically the exact same thing. <laughs> More artwork. But you can use this as the cover in the box, I guess, and you can hang the other one up. So, that's pretty cool that you have the options to do uh, different things. Now let's have a look at what else is there. We have another base, and that is basically for one of the AdMac units that has a sniper rifle, if you want to give him one of those. It's a really big one, and it's a sniper rifle with like a little leg and standing in front of it, because it's so long it needs its own support. So that's really cool. I will definitely be taking that one. <coughs> Right, we have several cards. Let's have a look. These look to be Gene Stealer data sheet cards and uh, probably tactics as well. Let's have a look. No, oh, these are basically simply yeah data cards. They have like information detailing the statistics. Sorry, the statistics of every unit in the game. So that's pretty good. We've got uh, dice, six dice. Uh, eight dice actually, but these are all uh, six-sided dice, and this is, let's see, ten-sided dice, I think. Yeah, ten-sided dice. It's pretty crazy. All right, some more cards. Uh, Universal Tactics cards, so these can be used by both teams. For example, we have, um, well, the first one that we can see is Decisive Move. Let's have a look. Use this tactic at the start of the movement phase, pick a model from your kill team and make a move with it before any other models, including an advance move, fallback move or charge attempt if you wish. If another player uses this tactic, roll off, the winner goes first. Alright, so that is one thing that you could play out. There is a tactics card for the ad advent, not the advent, <laughs> at Mac, sorry. Uh, if you've been watching my channel for a while, then you've known, and you probably know that I'm playing XCOM 2, and the Advents are the enemies there, so I use that word a lot, the Ad Mac and the Advent, but yeah, these are Ad Mac, Adeptus Mechanicus. All right, let's see. We have a distance measure stick, thingy, ruler, whatever you want to call it, because weapons come with different. Uh, uh, statistics with how far they can shoot and stuff so you can uh, kind of uh, use this to measure the distance in inches um, got a nice little card with um, yeah tokens I guess that dictate uh, or show you various things like these are charge icons I think or maybe these are charge icons I'm not entirely sure uh, some are for shooting for getting ready um, yeah so we have a gene stealer side we have an ad mac I was almost going to say Advent again, but no, at Mac side. So that is something that we have. Let's see. Then we have booklets, and they are in plastic. So the back side, I can see at Mac units. On the front, I see a Gene Stealer. So I'm guessing these are two books. Oh yeah, you can see it at the side. You have a Gene Stealer booklet and a at Mac booklet, basically detailing something, uh, some extra information about the background of these kill teams and uh, weapons they have and things you can do with them as well as paint schemes how you can put them together I think that is uh, something this uh, setup really does well I think let's have a look I want to have a look inside these booklets so I'll get out the knife again trembling a little bit but there we go let's get rid of some of this plastic Right, let's see, we have a Begin Here card. Oh, that's interesting. So this is a really quick overview of how to play the game. And you can 
give this to people to play if they're or uh, to look at if they play for the first time. And of course, there is a core manual as well, which we will pick up in a second. So that's that. Um, so we have uh, the Kill Team book for the Gene Stealers. They're dirty aliens. They did, they need to die. These guys are loyal servants of the Emperor. So yeah, let's have a look at them. So we have an introduction. Uh, Omnissiah's will be done. <laughs> now, this is, the Omnissiah is their word for the God Emperor, of course. Um, overview of the kill team. A lot of cool artwork, including miniature examples on the top. These guys are all uh, with with uh, black robes with red armor. You could do black armor and red robes and a bunch of different color variations that you want, or you can create your own kill team uh, look. I guess, you know, it all depends on what colors you want to use. But that's pretty cool. And now we have another booklet that I notice. And this seems to be, let's have a look. Oh yeah, it's a construction manual. So you have 1A, 1B, 1C, blah, blah, blah. You have all the little bits and pieces that you, uh, basically it details how you can stick them together, how you need to build them or could build them. Um, ah, here we have the Advent Mac with, uh, for the, and not Advent Mac, Ad Mac characters or the character with the big sniper rifle. That is really cool. I'm definitely going to be building that one because that is awesome. I really like the long rifle design of these guys. All right, so now we come to the terrain. So basically a step-by-step -step manual on how to put this stuff together. So. I'm guessing, you know, you could build, apparently it's very modular, and you can build them however you want. Um, but I suppose, you know, they, this manual comes with a few core game modes or uh, missions that you can play as, and I think these, guys, these things are designed to work in that way. Like, these are designed to go for, with these missions. You could make up your own and do cool things with it. Um, we have the Neophyte Hybrids, Guitar Ranger, so basically informations, basic informations about uh, range, damage, action points required, um, all that kind of stuff. Lots of rules, lots of data. It's going to take a while to dig through all of this stuff. All right. Um, then we come to the core manual. Like I said earlier, this thing is about 208 pages thick. So there's a lot of stuff going on. It's really hefty. It has a lot of artwork, but it also has information on all the all the different kill teams you can make. So we have the Adeptus Astartes and the things they can do. Um, you have the Death Watch, Grey Knights, Adeptus Mechanicus, um, Heretic Astartes kill teams, uh, Death Guard. So basically, there are about 16 different factions you could play as, and. Um, yeah, they're all detailed in this book. So whatever kind of kill team you want to make, you don't need to buy a different book for them, like the codexes for the regular 40k game. Uh, yeah, this is really cool. It has uh, basic information about specialists, choosing a kill team, um, different missions, like a match play mission, take prisoners, or sweep and clear, um, ambush, lots of cool artwork, um, fight face information, shooting face information, like everything you need to know to play this game is in the core manual so that is going to take some reading <laughs> and finally i think yeah it's finally we have a double-sided playing board so this one was i'm not sure what the inches were like 25 by 30 or something i don't remember exactly but this folds out so let's see let's get rid of uh this box for a second. All of the stuff that we have lying here needs to move aside a little bit. Now let's have a look. Where do I want to make this cut? <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can do it. I need to grab an edge. I have a start. There we go. All right. Now we can get rid of all of this plastic. Uh, 
and throw it to the side. Um, this folds out a few times, I think. And so that's one side folded out. So this is entire playing board. You can construct your buildings on top of it. And like I said, it's double-sided. So very, very cool. Actually, now I need to figure out how this folds back up again. All right, so there we go. As a look at Kill Team. So that was the unboxing. Please leave a like and a comment below if you enjoyed that content and would like to see more stuff like that in the future and I might consider it, though I'm not really planning to buy new Warhammer stuff constantly because I'm a very slow painter, but Kill Team was a really good chance to get in on the action, I think, because you can like do, you know, I can buy um, a 10-man Kill Team for the Tau, for example, even if I don't want to build an entire army, I do think the Tau look pretty cool and I'd like to paint them, but, you know, if you don't, normally for 40k, if you don't buy the entire army, um, it's kind of worthless to just have it like a 10-man squad because you can't do much with it. But for Kill Team, it is perfect because you can only take a, around that amount of characters. So, very excited to be playing this. Uh, I might do a Let's Play video on it later, but uh, yeah, only after it's painted probably because I don't want to have like the grey and red <laughs> basic miniatures. That's no fun at all. But yeah, that's it for this uh, unboxing video.